This route here just shoots to the outside, and that's the speed boost that we're talking about, as we get a very easy catch on one play touchdown against this type of defense. You can see how quickly this speed boost gets him open to the outside in the flat, and then I can just turn up field for another easy catch and run one play touchdown against this defense. And you can see here once again, since he has outside leverage, he gets that speed boost and just runs straight across the field for another very easy one play touchdown catch and run. <laughs> If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your college football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, Money Team. This is Matt Money Shots. Never have the College Football 25 cheese as always. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to do the infamous speed boost glitch, which is something that I noticed is getting around the community. I don't typically like to show you guys uh, too many glitches and stuff like that because I know I get a lot of people upset in my comments that I expose these things to the game, um, you know, to the community or my community. But I feel like if people are doing this in the game and they're doing it against you, you probably want to know how to do it back, or you probably want to. You don't want to be the only person that doesn't have this advantage. So I like to bring it to my audience. You guys watch me for a reason. So I like to bring it to uh, the people that watch my channel. And, you know, hopefully it's uh, it's used responsibly. But at the end of the day, this isn't too game breaking in my opinion anyway. It's something that they'll probably try to patch in the future. Uh, but it's not something that I, I really feel um, gives you a huge advantage except for against man coverage and stuff like that. Which can definitely be helpful because a lot of people, uh, you know, when they're running mints or blitz the entire game, this is a very good way to counter that. And I'm going to pretty much show it to you in that fashion but before i do if you guys want to see more videos like this you want me to keep you up to date with all of the uh, the best advantages you can get in college football and madden which dropped today please make sure to be a subscriber and like and let me know in the comment section i'm using my georgia offensive ebook if you guys need more help and more money plays you can download these or any of my ebooks instantly simply by clicking links in the description or the top pin comment the formation i'm going to show you out of is just it doesn't really matter to be honest with you you can you can do this with a lot of routes but I want to use this to the outside or over the middle. And like I said, I'm basically going to play leverage. Leverage is going to be the most important thing when it comes to this play. So we're going to pick the mesh because it has a nice corner out there. Then on defense, we're just going to pick, you know, any press defense I find works best, like a cover one robber press or, um, you know, something like a cover two man works really well. And cover zero works well too, but I don't necessarily want to spend this entire video uh, setting up my blocking because that's going to be an issue. So we're going to go, we're going to double bracket just so I don't have to deal with pressure too much. And then you're going to make sure that you want to run this from a hash mark to the open side of the field if you're going to work a corner route. If you're going to work a post route, which I'll show you later, it's going to be a little bit different. Now, like I said, I, I'll go ahead and I'll put X on a post. And I'm also just going to put A here on a, on a drag. I just don't want to wait till he motions across all the time. Now, to do this glitch, all you have to do is custom stem the route that you want to glitch so here i'm just going to custom route or custom stem b down then i'm going to put b on a smart route and you'll notice how it changes his route pretty considerably <laughs> to something that it doesn't even look like a real route so this is pretty much all you have to really do i can do it with x2 which i'll show you in a minute but a lot of times this will give you a really quick throw to the outside and against like a man zero blitz or something like that when you have pressure coming in so fast, that's all you're really gonna need. It's gonna be an instant one play touchdown. So I went ahead and backed out so I can pick an actual man zero blitz because I wanna show you guys how it works against this type of play. So we're gonna pick that. This works best when you have a leverage advantage though. As you can see right here, I backed out and I picked a, a regular man zero blitz and I no longer have outside leverage with this receiver. As you can see that cornerback's to the outside. So it's not gonna work as good. But on the other side, we have inside leverage with the X receiver. So if I put him on a post route, now I can have that exact same look. So we're gonna go ahead we're going to custom stem him down or custom stem him up. It really doesn't matter. And then put him on a smart route. And now you're going to see that he has that leverage. He's going to run away from that cornerback that much more effectively. Other than that, like I said, the reason I didn't want to do this is that I didn't want to have to change my blocking structure every single time. <laughs> but we're going to go. We're going to do that uh, as I think I accidentally messed it up because he was already on the cornerback. So I don't even know. There we go. Whatever. I'm, I'm hoping they'll pick this up. But either way, like I said, it doesn't really matter because the X receiver just runs straight across and uh, he just, since he's running away from the cornerback, it's just a very easy one play touchdown. So using this speed boost glitch is definitely most effective, but you really have to be aware of leverage for this play to work best. Now, the reason that I wanted to show it from this offense is because it's tightly compact, and that's really gonna be how you get the majority of your leverage advantages. But like I said, you can really mess around with this in a lot of different schemes and find a lot of different ways to get success. Uh, again, something like a cover two man, it's gonna be very similar. Let's go and let's pick that. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do the post route one more time, although you can do both, you know what I mean? I can put them both, the B route and the X route 
uh, on on custom uh, custom stem uh, glitches like this if I want to. Go ahead and I'll just put this guy on a, on a you know, whatever. We'll just do some blocking here. But like I said, we can get one of these guys open. Either one of these guys are going to get open. You can see right there, he just splits that middle. The user might be able to get on that. I'm not expecting touchdowns now, but the user might be able to get on that if he's pretty quick. But if he's in a cover to me, he's probably supposed to be covering the running back anyway. So that's not necessarily going to work. But let's just take a look at that compared to a regular route. As you can see right there, the safety's all over it. Although I did make the play. Uh, that's something that's going to be way less effective. Even if I put him on that and just bring him down a notch, just to make that a really short route, it's not going to be nearly as effective as the speed boost uh, that I get. As you can see here, it just kind of works like a slant, and it can still be effective, but the speed boost gets much more separation. And it's because he just gets a little bit of a quicker break, and that's why it works, but it's not necessarily game-breaking, like I said, in my opinion. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll do this to the B receiver outside. This one's a little bit less, uh, you know, a little bit iffier. As you can see right there, he gets to, to the spot faster. But the cornerback, since he doesn't really have outside leverage, the cornerback does a pretty good job of getting there. So it's not like it's necessarily, um, you know, game-breaking because it accidentally hiked the play before he even did anything. But like I said, you can see in, on a regular route, it's, it's more effective. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm saying. This isn't necessarily game breaking. For people that want to complain that, that I'm putting out glitches, this is more effective against regular cover two man. As you can see, we're completing the ball much more easily uh, with just a regular corner route. So, like I said, it's something that is effective and that can be used to help you, but by no means is this something that's gonna, gonna break the game. And like I said, I don't even know if it'll be that high of a priority when it comes to EA patching the game. Now, another route that I find is really effective when it comes to cover zero is an, a simple out route. As you'll see right here, I mean, a simple out route, once again, this is why I'm saying I don't think it's really that broken. A simple out route can get open just like this. I don't have to really do anything. I, don't, I can just leave it on a 10 yard out route. And you'll see how this out route here will typically get open to the outside to a point where I can pretty much get like a catch and run. Uh, one play touchdown so the, the the setup i'm about to show you like i said it's not necessarily game breaking it's just kind of fun to mess around with the bottom line is manzer blitz is very easy to beat uh but the downside of the the regular 10 yard out setup that i just did is you have to hold the ball a little bit longer than you might want to you know what i mean sometimes these blitzes are coming in screaming so if you want to try to use uh this setup here where you put this guy on a, you do the exact same thing. We put him on a uh, custom stem and then you smart route him. You'll see how he's gonna basically just do like a little pattern where he leaks out into the flat. And since the defender's so far away, he's gonna get open every single time. But I wanna make sure I don't have any deep routes because I wanna try to catch and run this. So I'm just gonna put uh, the receivers uh, on top, uh, just a shorter route. So I'm just gonna basically put everybody in shorter routes so that I can uh, make sure that nobody's really uh, getting in the way for the catch and run. But watch how this guy just gets open because once again, he gets that speed boost. You can get this and catch it and just turn up field and get very positive yards, including a potential one-play touchdown, without the, the fear of holding the ball and potentially taking a sack because it's an instant throw. Now, that's not to say that there isn't some use against defenses like zone coverages. So let's go and let's pick that again. And we're going to go, we're going to pick cover three, but this should work the same against cover three or cover four. Doesn't really matter. So let's go and pick cover three sky. Against zone coverages where the cornerback drops back, a lot of people like to use a pull route, which is basically just a route on a streak, and then something underneath, which we already kind of have with the running back. And a lot of times that can get open uh, underneath if you come back to the ball. It's not always going to get open. It's not the most effective to the open side of the field. Like I'm running here, I find it works a little better on a hash mark. But if we're on a hash mark like this and we want to use that same trick where we custom stem and then smart route, I find that this does a much better job of getting open to that sideline because as you can see here, it's just a much different route. So there are some uses against zone, but ultimately I find this is more effective against man. Uh, and like I said, this should work against cover three or cover four because the cornerback drops back the exact same way. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see more tip videos like this in the future, please make sure you're a subscriber. I already have some tip videos out and they're popping up on screen. So if you want to see more, click the links. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. I might shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.